everyone and thank you for watching Edupedia World Videos. In this lecture, we will continue to talk about price determination in Sales and Distribution Module SAP ERP system. In previous lecture, we reviewed the first steps in price determination. We defined the condition tables. We defined the access sequences and we set up the condition types. In this lecture, we will learn how to define the pricing procedure and how to assign the pricing procedure. The pricing procedure is a sequential arrangement of a group of condition types. When you define a pricing procedure, you arrange various condition types in the sequence in which SAP should access them. To set up a pricing procedure, go to SPRO transaction. Click on SAP reference ING. Go to Sales and Distribution. Basic functions. Pricing. Pricing control. Define and assign pricing procedures. And click on Maintain Pricing Procedures. Standard SAP provides a variety of pricing procedures, as you can see here. SAP also provides some country specific pricing procedures, like Pricing Procedure 4. United States, for Argentina, Australia, and other countries. You can create your new pricing procedure by copying it from the existing pricing procedure that is the closest match to your requirements. You can also define a pricing procedure from scratch. We will now show the pricing procedure customizing elements in detail. Press New Entries button to create new pricing procedure. Set up a technical name for your pricing procedure and description. For example, retail price and click on Save. Save transport request. Now select your pricing procedure and double click on control data. Press new entries button. First column, step. This represents the sequence in which the condition types will be accessed within the pricing procedure. Here you can assign the first condition type as step 10, the second as step 20, and so on. It is advisable to use a spacing of 10 between steps, in case you have to change the pricing procedure at a later date, and then insert steps in between 10 and 20. So, will be 10 the first. Next column, counter. This represents a sub-step. We can leave this field empty. Condition type. You must enter the condition type at each step. The system will read and compute each condition type in the sequence specified by the step number. We can choose our new condition type. And our new condition type. Okay, we can find it. Z and star. Z 
ZGM1 custom retail price. Our condition type. Description to be retail price. And we, as we can see, we enter description, but after we press enter, the description of the condition type automatically appears here. Next columns, from and to. This represents the basis of a calculation for a step. For example, if the operation is step in step 30, is to be performed on the value appearing in line 20, then you specify from S20. The from and to fields are also used in defining subtotals. Thus, if you want to compute the subtotal of all discounts or all the tax conditions together, you can define a new step and enter the description of the subtotal in the description column. For example, if you insert a subtotal or at step 300 called net price and then specify that it will be the net of all values from 101 to 299. The system will compute the subtotal and it will appear at step 300 in the pricing procedure in the sales document. Next column, manual. When this checkbox is selected, the condition value for the condition type is either provided manually by the user or is provided by a process external to SD, such as casting. Required. Selecting this checkbox makes the condition mandatory. If SAP is not able to find a valid record for a condition type with the required checkbox selected, it issues an error message for the user that pricing procedure is incomplete. This one will be required. Statistics. Selecting this, ch this checkbox makes the condition statistical. It will be calculated just like any normal condition, but the value will not impact or lap to the total. Print. This controls the printing of a condition line on printed outputs such as order confirmations and invoices. You can choose X to have condition lines printed at the item level, choose S to have condition lines printed at the total level, or choose to leave this field blank to skip the condition lines value being available for printing. Next column, subtotal. We have already discussed using subtotals in a pricing procedure. The subtotal field is used to indicate the fields where the subtotal value is to be parked. Use this to store the condition amounts, condition rates, and subtotal values into subtotal fields for use in further user defined calculations or for use in reports. Requirement. This is a provision that attaches a routine before the value of a condition type is computed. It's like a prerequisite that has to be satisfied before you can proceed. If the requirement falls, the condition is not accessed. For example, requirement 2 in steps 11 through 110 tells SAP to access corresponding condition types only when the related sales line item in the sales document is relevant for pricing. If the sales order line happens to be free item, such as item category TANN, then SAP will not access for such line items. Calculation type Alternative calculation type Use this field when you want to apply your own calculation formula as an alternative to the standard condition technique. You can create a custom specific formula as an alternative 
alternate calculation type and assign int to the condition type in the pricing procedure. Next field, alternative formula for calculation of base value. Use this field when you want to change the calculation base value as a step. For example, for a condition type to compute a cash discount, the discount is to be applied on the net value. A routine 2 is readily available to indicate this base value. Similarly, you can define your own custom routine if required. Next field, accounting key. Use this key for posting the condition type value to a revenue amount in FI. Accruals. Use this key to post the condition type value to an accrual or provision account in FI. So now we can save our new pricing procedure. This pricing procedure was just a very basic example. Now we can check some real experience pricing procedure with a lot of condition types. For example, we can check standard pricing procedure and price control data. So here you can see a lot of condition types and all this price is in this pricing procedure. All condition times will be defined in the sales order. Now we can go back to the main customization screen. Now we can move to the next step and next step assign the pricing procedure. The last step in the pricing setup is to define the determination rule to govern which pricing procedure will be used. The system determines the pricing procedure based on the sales area, sales document type and customer master record. Use the fields customer pricing procedure and document pricing procedure to control the determination. To customize and to define pricing procedure, click on Define Document Pricing Procedure. You can use standard options to create new custom entry. Or you can use existing one and copy as a reference. We will create new entry. Z retail. An entry already exists with the same key. Also, we can change it. Why? It's the same. We can use O. O. Retail. Enter. And save transport request. Go back. Now we need to assign the document pricing procedure to various documents. So click on Assign document pricing procedure to sales document types.
we need to find some sales order we see sales document type the term we can choose it for example and change value to our new retail oh press enter and save it save transport request we can go back to the previous screen now we need to assign document pricing procedure to billing types double click on assign document pricing procedures to billing types find billing type you can choose ZSP1 just for example and our new retail press enter and save changes save transport request go back to the previous screen now we need to define the customer pricing procedure the customer pricing procedure field specifies which pricing procedure should be determined for a customer it's a one character field with a description that can be that can be numeric or alphabetical by clicking on Define customer pricing procedure. Here we create our new entry. It will be all retail. And save changes. Save transport request. Once you have defined the customer pricing procedure, you assign this customer pricing procedure to respective customer master records. Now, you can go back to the previous screen. The last step is to link all the pieces together and define the determination. Click on Define Pricing Procedure Determination. You can create new entries. And we need to set up a pricing procedure for combination of sales area customer pricing procedure, document pricing procedure, and condition type. So choose sales organization, distribution channel, direct sales division, Document Pricing Procedure Retail Customer Pricing Procedure Retail Pricing Procedure We can choose our new pricing procedure Retail Price And Condition Type we need to choose our new condition type Z star enter Z 
ZGM1 our condition type and press enter. Now we can save changes and save transport request. Go back to the SAP Easy Access menu. So we have successfully configured pricing. We defined the condition tables. We defined the access sequences. We set up the condition types. We defined the pricing procedure. And we assigned the pricing procedure. Now we will talk about maintaining price records. After configuring the pricing procedure, you have to maintain the master data for the pricing condition records. The system will read the actual values of the pricing conditions from these master data records. Follow this path. SAP menu Logistics Sales and Distribution Master Data Conditions Select using condition type Create Or you can enter transaction code, as we can see here, technical name of transaction, VK11. Press Enter. In condition type, enter our new condition type for retail price. Our new condition type is ZGM1 Customer Retail Price. Double click. Now press Enter. And you will see key combination. You can choose necessary. In this case, we will choose Sales Organization and Customer Group. We need to choose sales organization, customer group, amount, unit. American dollar calculation type will be formula valid from Actually, we can leave this blank and press enter. And now we can save our entry. Condition records saved. So we have successfully created our condition record, price condition record. And system will use this price to determine price to the sales order.
we have successfully complete lecture about price determination in sales and distribution module SAP ERP system. Thank you for watching Edupedia World Videos.